Check it up! Yeah! What's up? I'm Bella Thorne, and you're watching Clever TV. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nisi. Jay. If you're new, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not, welcome back, gang. So today I'm back with the crazy story time. If you guys like crazy story times, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe because I have a lot of them. So I'm at my new elementary school, Raising Hill. Like I mentioned in another story time, I had some other cousins that went there also. I was in the fifth grade and they was in the sixth grade. I was bad in my own classes, so I'd get kicked out and have to go sit in their classes. And I used to just love that. Now, in one of their classes, it was this guy. Let's call him Shu. Shu was very cute to me. I don't know what it was. I actually had a crush on him like the whole year. I kept it to myself. Till this one day, we were at lunch. Now, Shu class went to lunch at the same time as my class. There was actually a table right over from my class's table. Now, I was joking with Shu's younger cousin who just so happened to be in my class and who also happened to be really good friends with me. And I was like, you know what? I want your big cousin. I like Squidward. Now, I tell Shu younger cousin this in confidence. I did not think he was going to go do what he did next. Next. He just made a whole big scene about it. And then he turned around to look at his big cousin at the table behind us, next to us, and was just like, Oh, bro, hey, Nisa like you, Nisa like you. Why? Now, be in elementary school, so you already know this shit is a fucking travesty. But me, hell no. Uh uh. Ooh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Oh, yeah, God, God, you ugly, ugly as fuck. I just can't get over that shit. Fucking oh, my God. All eyes on us. He pulling like this guy that sit next to him, like literally in front of him. Like, you talking about him? You talking about him? The dude he pulled over shaking his head too. Two turn downs in one evening. I'm like, <laughs> and then the cousin like, no, nah, I'm talking about you. He like, oh, hell no. Nah. I don't want to talk to her. Uh -uh. I don't want to talk to her. He revolting. He about to throw up all kinds of shit. Ah. <laughs> nah, bitch. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> Girl, it was a mix. Like, look, she got cooties or something. Dramatic as fuck. I'm playing it off, whatever. I'm just laughing like, bitch, I was just like. Saying I look like a Muppet. Mm-hmm. Do I look like a Muppet? Oh, my God. <laughs> said me and a little cousin was actually very cool so after i get home from school we'll talk on the phone or wherever on some kid and shit nothing too crazy nothing too crazy one night the cousin put shoe on the phone we on a three-way call it's quiet as fuck he ain't saying nothing i try to make convo and make it less awkward it's st patrick's day we really don't give a fuck it's not a major holiday it's really not bitch you act like it's fucking Damn. christmas or something fuck you in st patrick's he's just like Ugh. Really? Shut when the you think about fuck it up. he did not like me but that did not stop me from liking him so pick me choose me love me stand up so fast forward to middle school i'm probably like in the eighth grade in the ninth grade finally get my cell phone we get into the facebook era me and him ended up getting into contact with each other somehow hit each other's numbers and we start texting i'm ecstatic as hell right i'm ecstatic well, boys would be boys because you already know he trying to see my coochie, he trying to see my titties, my ass, everything on me. I'm like, damn. I'm getting on Google and I'm getting images on Google. I want to keep him interested, so I bet. Next thing I know, he want to have sex. It just at the time, he was just like, what? Bitch, I don't know how to take that. Like, bitches, I, like. So, yeah, I wasn't going. And, of course, eventually he ghosted me. All right, now from that point, fast forward, I'm a freshman in high school. He's probably like a sophomore or a junior or something, whatever. We go into the same high school. I'm so excited to be here! Have y'all ever seen that TV show on MTV called Awkward? That was me. Every time I see him in the hallway, I would expect him to at least acknowledge me, even look at me, <laughs> nod or wave or anything. He never did. He never did. And I'm like, ooh. Now see, fuck all that because see, that summer was the summer I glowed up. Lost all my weight, I look good. Going to a new school, a high school they just built. Bet. Don't see shoe no more. Shit, by my senior year, my first year in college, guess who was in my DMs? Guess who was in my DMs? Shoe. You ain't really fuck with me way back then, baby. How about now? Of course I'm not be 
being nice about it because I remember all that stuff, right? So I'm t you can back up a little bit. Get him the fuck out of here. This nigga looks stupid. My bit. Now hold that thought. Hold that thought. Hold that right there. Now I'm ignoring shoe. I'm not stunning shoe. It's like a year or two later. I'm young and turned. I don't give a fuck what they seen come through this store. This is the baddest bitch in the motherfucking store. She is the moment. I'm popping, I'm doing whatever the fuck I want to do, I'm doing whatever the fuck I want to do, you already know. Around this time, I end up meeting my abortion baby daddy. No job, had a baby mama, would click on her on Facebook. Then when we hang out, he normal. Uh-huh, manipulative. Yeah, way down the road. She actually ended up hitting me up on Facebook Messenger like, hey, do you know, bro? And she just sent me a whole bunch of pictures of what he did to her and like his police reports and all kinds of shit. He was beating the fuck out of her. Piece of shit. I Want to particularly be with him? He's pretty flighty as is. I ain't really trying to build no family with this man. But we ain't using no condoms when we hunt. We're working on Farrah with no handlebars. This is real risky. I'm working at Walmart at the time, right? I'm right across from the pharmacy section. So, like, I'm taking my cart, getting plan B's, getting plan B's, boom, 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 boom. I ended up needing to take one and wasn't able to take one. I think they ended up catching up to me because, like, a week. They started to put the plan B in cases. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Ended up getting pregnant. Yup, 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 yup. Literally, as soon as the consequences of him going to the back of my vaginal canal to leave his seed came back at him, all of a sudden it's, oh, bitch, I don't know you. Who is you? We had sex. Baby, hey, ain't mine. That must be somebody else, baby. What? What? I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> even attempting to pull out this shit was on purpose as hell yeah he looking at me like is that you block delete the fuck i'm like damn keep in mind i'm not even trying to like be all like that with him i'm just asking him for like little something on abortion money he like no i know you the real you and i knew you would do it if i didn't you don't know me and i wouldn't have done it and if you if i don't know you then please why stop we... interrupting me i don't know you <laughs> He just goes a wall. I mean, completely shuts me out. Weeks done pass. He back at home with his other baby mama, being a father guy, everything on Facebook, all the posts is positive now. I don't got no choice at this point but to move on, right? So that's what I do. I move on. I'm very much still prick. Very much still emotional, hungry. I am, I am, I am, I am. Sam, I am, yes ma'am. Okay, boom. I'm about to kill it. Uh. I'm about to, about to kill it. Uh. I'm minding my business. I'm scrolling on Facebook. I'm chilling. Drink, Molly's, perks, lean. Shoe is in my inbox. I've been kind of ignoring them. It was something that he said that I didn't respond to. And I was just like, you know what? I guess we could let bygones be bygones. Like, you know, whatever. Let me see what the fuck he talking about. The combo was flowing pretty nicely. Way better than it was in middle school when he just wanted to see some nudes. Hey, I add, <laughs> at this point, it's probably the most that we done talked. It was a pretty interesting dynamic, but I wanted to think of the situation as somewhat a silver lining. Oh, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, unique, completely not ever been done before. Mm. One day after work, I was just like, you know what? <laughs> See what you talking about. Let me just see what it's talking about. Why not? What the fuck? You gotta feed the baby. <laughs> you need to leave. Okay. Hit him up like, yo, come over. And he did. This is not a bash nor ego boost. When he was on top of me doing his thing or whatever, he was like panicking. Oh god, I'm scared. Okay, I'm about to do it. I'm doing it. Fire it up. I'm going all the way. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit, DC Kuja, like this bitch, I knew this bitch since the sixth grade. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he was trying to put the condom on, but he couldn't. So he was just like, fuck it, no condom. When he did put it in. He's dramatically trying not to ejaculate. I'm not gagging. About a minute and a half later, he was done. Now he pulled out, but he pulled out very last minute. And that was a panic too, and we had a whole kiki moment about that. No condom, by the way. Remember that. We nervously chuckling or whatever. Put our pants and clothes and shit on. Immediately, I saw him out, okay? Okay. <laughs> yep. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now, me and Shu still texting, and obviously, it's a little awkward for him, right? Let's chill for a little. Let's hey. Trying to hang in there and not block me. 
probably like a night or two after that incident. He at work and we texting. He's coming up to the time when he's about to take his lunch break. So I'm texting him and I'm like, you know, let me come see you real quick. Let me pull up on you on your lunch break. He can redeem himself. My mom at the time, just let me come see you on your lunch break. I wanna fuck some. Don't y'all know? This guy had all the excuses in the world. Oh, I didn't drive my car. Oh, I'm riding with my coworker. I'm eating lunch in the building. Now fast forward a week later. Oh, my lunch ain't that long. I'm taking a short lunch. I'm like, I, 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 I keep it cool. Mm -hmm. Let me slide down. It's only gonna take a minute now. I need it. Y'all ain't gonna shame this bitch. I'm going on lunch with my coworker. Co-worker? No co-worker? We ain't together anyway, so like da 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 Girl! <laughs> Two turn downs. No. <laughs> no way! I know, I gotta take this off because my brain is in gotta clean. Now, now, at this point, all the childhood stuff that came back. Then my situation with my would've been baby daddy. So I'm just mad. See, even at this point, I try to keep my cool. I don't say nothing about it or whatever. I know my situation, I can't really book. But then he fucked around and started dry texting. <laughs> Triggered. Now, I don't know if I just wanted a reaction or just the other half of my abortion money that my sorry ass would have been maybe that it was supposed to give me. I started telling him I'm pregnant. Ah! I'm pregnant. How? Hold on, bro. How? I'm pregnant and you the pappy. You need to give me some money on this abortion. You need to give me some money on this abortion with your sorry ass. <laughs> sorry, motherfucker. Send me the motherfucker. I'm just mad. <laughs> so, po thing. <laughs> I gotta pay for that. Yeah, you ate the whole entire thing, sir. He all like, I don't have that kind of money. I can't pay for that. Uh uh, I gotta pay rent. I gotta pay my car. Like, he just started listing stuff. I'm good. I got a lyric and you don't. I can see I got him stressed, and that's kind of what I wanted. I just wanted to stress him out more so than the money. Still going on. You're ugly. You are disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me $200. Okay, stop lying, nigga. Send me whatever the fuck you can send me. Don't y'all know this man sent me like I was bored, so I ruined lunch purposely, and I had fun doing it. Now, my best friend at the time, she actually was with me. She think I'm jocking a lifestyle. <laughs> I, I have to laugh. I'm sorry. This is so f***ing ridiculous. I can't sit here and hear this. You did this for what? Why not? <laughs> Why? Why not? <laughs> Why, though? Like, she's looking at me like I'm not really pregnant. She mad at me. She's just like, you don't need to do that. Oh, girl, please, bitch, ho. What are you, a cop? You would think your homegirl would be happy that you successfully finessed some abortion money because you know, my point being with that is, I don't know if it was her, my abortion baby daddy, or my play play baby daddy that went around here telling everybody that I was faking the pregnancy, but no. I was actually very much pregnant. What you out here being messy for? Take a pregnancy test and all. I ain't take no note to send it around telling everybody because don't get excited. Get off of Amazon. I really wasn't trying to prove that I was pregnant at the time. Now you tell me why would I do that? Well, thank you so much for tuning in to my story time. Again, my name is Nisi J, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!